Well, we're out here on the east side of the state today at our east side campus in Brighton. Jeff Moss here and Tim Benjamin. So we wanted to get with you guys, this video is going to go out to YouTube first, but this will show up on our channel or our, uh, our website as well, because what we want to do is talk specifically on reverse engineering. So we offer that as well as inspection. We love both of those things. And Tim has put together an impressive workflow diagram here that we want to explain to you guys. And we're going to take this through multiple videos with multiple examples that will go through each of these, uh, each of these steps because there's a lot of questions that come our way when people call us and say, hey, we'd like to have this scanned. From there, we have good dialogue. So, mm -hmm. so Tim has put this together. So we're gonna upload this or put this on our, on our website again, and we're gonna have multiple videos that will walk through these examples because really the difference between inspection and reverse engineering is just the CAD, right? We get CAD that's a nominal coming from a client that we inspect to, mm -hmm. but when clients say, we need CAD coming back, that's what the reverse engineering project is. And that's what this was put together. So high level, you wanna talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about what you've got here? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, yeah. so we're gonna be going through this uh, infographic uh, that I've put together. Hopefully it will answer a lot of the questions uh, that people typically have when they're facing some sort of a reverse engineering task. Uh, we're gonna be talking about what the uh, true end goal of reverse engineering is, uh, and that can be a very wide, uh, open-ended topic. Um, we're gonna be talking about some of the other aspects uh, dealing with reverse engineering, such as uh, freeform shape versus uh, more of uh, prismatic geometric shapes. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, ideas like uh, noise in the data, and how to uh, move away from that. Um, ultimately, we'll even be talking a lot about design intent, which can be somewhat nebulous uh, in the grand scheme of things, but we'll try and nail that down real clearly for you so that you have a good understanding of uh, how to approach your reverse engineering tasks. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot that went into this document, so we wanna make sure that it's clear for all you guys too. And, and the thought that went through each one of these steps here too. And Tim's got those all uh, pretty well documented here. So again, each video will go through these examples. So yeah, I think we'll start putting these together and one after the other, they're gonna go up on the site and it should answer a lot of questions in the reverse engineering. And again, always reach out to Tim or myself if you've got questions on anything that you see on this flow chart um, or if you've got a reverse engineering project like one of the good ones we just did was this Corvette, the new Corvette at West Michigan a couple weeks ago, so we scanned that mm -hmm. up. So a lot of good experience behind the reverse engineering at diverse dimensions. So, so um, yeah, we'll put all these videos together for you and hope that answers all those questions. Thanks.